My Jesus, my Savior, Lord, there is none like you. All of my days, I want to praise the wonders of your mighty love. My comfort, my shelter, tower of refuge and strength. Let every breath, all that I am, never cease to worship you. Shout to the Lord, all the earth, let us sing. Power and majesty, praise to the King. Mountains bow down and the seas will roar at the sound of your name. I sing for joy at the work of your hand. Forever I'll love you, forever I'll stand. Nothing compares to the promise I have in you. My Jesus, my Savior, Lord, there is none like you. All of my days, I want to praise the wonders of your mighty love. My comfort, my shelter, tower of refuge and strength. Let every breath, all that I am, never cease to worship you. Shout to the Lord, all the earth, let us sing. Power and majesty, praise to the King. Mountains bow down and the seas will roar at the sound of your name. I sing with joy at the works of your hand. Forever I love you and forever I'll stand. Nothing compares to the promise I have. Shout to the Lord, all the earth, let us sing. Power and majesty, praise to the King. Mountains bow down and the seas will roar. The sound of your name. I sing for joy at the works of your hand. Forever I love you, forever I'll stand. Nothing compares to the promise I have in you. Nothing compares to the promise I have in you. Nothing compares to the promise I have in you. Hello. Spirit of the living God, thank you for today and thank you for this lesson. Have us learn what you have for us to learn. Thank you. Amen. Genesis 32, 24-32 says, And Jacob was left alone, and there wrestled a man with him until the breaking of the day. And when he saw that he prevailed not against him, he touched the hollow of his thigh, and the hollow of Jacob's thigh was out of joint. As he wrestled with him, and he said, Let me go, for the day breaketh. And he said, I will not let thee go, except thou bless me. And he said unto him, What is thy name? And he said, Jacob. And he, he said, that Thy name will be called no more Jacob, but Israel. For as of a prince hast thou power with God, and with men, and has prevailed. Jacob asked and said, Tell me, I pray thee, thy name. And he said, Wherefore is it that thou dost ask me after my name? And he blessed him there. And Jacob called the name of the place Peniel, for I have seen God face to face, and my life is preserved. And he passed over for Penuel, the sun rose upon him, and he halted upon his thigh. Therefore the children of Israel eat not of the sinew which shrank, which is upon the hollow of the thigh, unto this day, because he touched the hollow of J Jacob's thigh and the sinew that shrank. Jacob's Back Story Genesis 25, 
26. And after that came his brother out and his hand took hold on Esau's heel and his name was called Jacob. And Isaac was three score years old when she had them. His relationship with Esau. Genesis 25, 33. And Jacob said, Swear to me this day. And he swore unto him. And he sold his birthright unto Jacob. Jacob took advantage of Esau's natural desire to stay alive, to gain the upper hand. Esau had been out hunting. He was about to die from starvation. Jacob demanded that Esau sell him his birthright for a meal. Jacob manipulated Esau into forfeiting his birthright. Genesis twenty seven thirty five and he said Thy brother Jacob came with subtlety and hath taken away thy Esau's blessing. Jacob tricked his father Isaac into thinking he was Esau. He deceived Isaac by putting some animal skin on his own to take advantage of his father's failing eyesight. His father was hungry, so he was anxious to get some food. He smelled the food Jacob had that he had asked Esau to prepare, and he wanted it. So when Jacob claimed to be Esau, Isaac was really hungry. He was willing to believe anything to appease his appetite. Jacob took advantage of Isaac's stomach to gain the upper hand. We are about to where we kicked off. Genesis 28.10 And Jacob went out from Beersheba and went to Haran. This is the introduction to the story of Jacob's ladder, the dream that God gave him. He left Beersheba and was heading to Haran. He was traveling solo. He was alone. And Genesis thirty two twenty four says, And Jacob was left alone, and there wrestled a man with him until the breaking of the day. God deals with us when we are alone. He isn't dealing with you because of all the he isn't dealing with you because of all the distraction. Distraction is what is preventing you from hearing his still small voice. First Kings 19.12 And after the earthquake of fire, but the Lord was not in the fire. And after the fire, the still small voice. God was in the voice, trying to learn Try to learn to hear the voice, read the Bible, and become a sheep in God's flock. For his sheep know his voice. Go to where you can be alone. Go to where you can find peace in your spirit. And this is where God will speak to you. This is your prayer closet. We kicked off with, with this passage in Genesis. Jacob is about to go and meet Esau. He has been wronging his brother for his entire life. He doesn't know how his brother will receive him. He is scared. He learns that it is with God and with his own fears he must wrestle and not some human being. Genesis 33, 4 and Esau ran to meet him and embraced him and fell on his neck and kissed him and they wept. Esau had done forgiven Jacob and didn't hold the grudge. Jacob didn't need to fear. Do you want to find your family? But 
you, you fear that we are angry due to your past transgressions? Don't worry about it. Your family misses you. They just want their dad back. Esau missed Jacob. Your family misses you. Spirit of the living God, thank you for your anointing on our lives. Protect us, keep us safe. Be our shield and our buckler, dear God. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen.